Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a little known Cisco feature known as out of the box RF profile. When new APs are connecting to the network awaiting configuration, they have the potential to cause havoc with our existing wireless infrastructure. In this video we'll be taking a look at how using the out of box feature can resolve this. If you'd like to read along with the lesson, you can find a link to our website in the description below. In order to provide some context, in our example, we've got a head office and a number of branch locations scattered across the UK. When we're deploying APs at these locations, we've got two options. Number one, install the AP out of the box in the required location and then apply the configuration once installed. Alternatively, we can pre-configure the AP before mounting in the required location. In our example, all new APs for the branch locations are configured here at head office. On the screen we've got the floor plan of our head office with 5 APs installed. If we look at how the wireless signal would propagate throughout the building, it would look something like this. As the APs are configured prior to installation, they're brought to the build room within the head office to be pre-configured. Today we're configuring 3 additional APs for our remote locations. We've taken them to our build room and powered them all up ready to be configured. But what's the problem with this? By default, antennas within our APs are not disabled. Because of this, the APs will begin to interfere with our existing wireless infrastructure. If we go back to our floor plan and take a look at the wireless coverage now, we can see that the APs within the build room have the potential to cause havoc with the existing wireless infrastructure. So how do we resolve this? Well, we can stop this automatic behaviour from happening by using a feature known as out of box. What this will do is automatically move new APs joining the controller to a new AP group. This AP group will have a special RF profile assigned that will disable both the 2.4 and 5 GHz antennas within all APs in the group. Let's jump over to our wireless controller and explain the concept some more. If we go to our AP groups and the WLANs, we can see that we already have a default group. So why can't we use this? Currently, all new APs associated into the controller will be automatically dropped into this group. The only downside is that RF profiles cannot be assigned to the group to disable the antennas. So how do we enable the outbox feature then? If we navigate to the wireless tab and select RF profiles, you'll spot the feature in question. To enable it, we'll simply select the feature, enable out of box and press apply. Notice that when we do this, it'll explain like we've discussed, the feature is used to eliminate RF instability. In addition to this, once enabled, new APs will no longer automatically associate to the default group AP group we just looked at. Instead, they will join the new out-of-box AP group that will be created with their radio shut off. Let's press OK and continue. Now that the feature is enabled, the first thing you'll notice is that we have two new RF profiles created, out-of-box 11A and out-of-box 11B. These are used to automatically disable the antennas on new APs associating to the controller. If we go back to our AP groups under WLANs, we can now see that our AP group out of box has been created. If we go into this, you'll now notice that we have a tab for RF profile assignment. Within here, the two new RF profiles that we looked at have already been applied. The final thing for us to do is test the feature out. To do this, I'll associate a new AP to our controller. We can now see that the AP is associated to our controller. If we go back to our AP groups and check the APs associated to the out of box group, we can now see our new AP is associated to the group automatically. If we go over to the AP itself and check the interfaces, we can now see that all interfaces on the AP are also disabled. And there we have it, that's a quick overview of the out of box AP feature within Cisco wireless controllers. If you've liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, you can also follow along the lesson over on our website in the link in the description below.